What's up everybody, it's Titan Sage and I really was at Gamescom as I promised. It's the annual Games Convention in Cologne, Germany. Yeah, and it was a blast. There were so many awesome games and nerds and cosplayers. It was madness basically. But I wasn't there for Dragon Ball or Fallout or anything. You know why I was there. I was there because of Titan Quest and you could actually play the game there. You had to go there. Yeah, and wait a little bit, and then they had 15 setups of the demo version of Titan Quest 2. Yeah, and that's me playing that thing. But unfortunately, they told us no filming here, put that away. And I was like, come on. Well, but I couldn't. So, uh, yeah, um, so this footage. I was pl planning to show you my original playing footage, but yeah, um, there was no way because I wasn't allowed. So yeah, um, I'm going to show you footage from uh, the developers. Yeah, but I'm going to uh, share my experiences, how the game was and uh, how the playing experience went. I only had 15 minutes of playing, so this time was very limited. But speaking of limited, the developers put only four abilities for this build in the demo version. Yeah, and it was only uh, some leap slam that we already saw from the trailer, a uh, slam attack, some uh, ice nova, this one, the, the freezing ice nova, and some ice shards. Yeah, ability on four. Yeah, and you had the basic attack on the right click, <laughs> weird. Yeah, and let me tell you, the gameplay was really uh, so natural, it felt so fluent. Yeah, and it looked really impressive. There were really vibrant colors and especially the water looked awesome anywhere. Yeah, um, it really looked fantastic, I gotta say. Unfortunately, the demo version was only 15 minutes, so it was really limited. Um, after I think 10 minutes I was done and killed every monster and leveled up once and then I saw that I hit the barriers of the map. Yeah, but I also noticed one really uh, interesting thing about the items. I found uh, an axe which heightened my damage, had some nice bonuses, the prefix titanic which heightened the, which increased the overall attack damage. Yeah, and you immediately noticed how the game just uh, went better. You, you immediately noticed an improvement after switching out one item. Then I found a helmet which had the suffix of focus which uh, did like minus 20% cooldown and you immediately noticed that one. Yeah, it, it felt awesome. With each new item found, your hero got stronger immediately. And that's what the charm of Titan Quest is, is all about. This is what keeps you going. You find awesome items, you level up, you put your points into abilities. Yeah, and this is what keeps you going. And you craft awesome builds, and this is how you can, can think. <laughs> thousands of hours into this game and still have fun. Yeah, and let me tell you, it was really, really fun. You could zoom in, like in the old game. You had a very nice inventory. Yeah, the inventory also had a sort button, which came in very handy, I gotta say. Yeah, and I repeat myself, but with each good item drop, you noticed an immediate change on your gameplay and your hero. Which uh, was really uh, awesome in this little 15 minute of gameplay. So let's talk about the abilities. In this demo build, the masteries were fixed. So it was already chosen, Warfare and Storm, and you couldn't change it anymore. You also had very limited abilities. You couldn't even choose from the abilities, you only saw some of the abilities that they gave you. Yeah, and um, what you're seeing here is a different version. The demo version was much more limited than this one. So you, you were locked in in the these kind of skills. But the good thing was you could have a look into the modifiers of skills and a little bit how the whole system worked. 
about the stat points and the abilities which are um, in conjunction to some extent because the your allocation of stat points determines which abilities and which modifiers of these abilities you can choose for example if you put a lot of stat points in it into knowledge which is the intelligence here and I gotta say that the system was a bit overwhelming for these few minutes that I had for the gameplay you couldn't really take your time and take a minute and just read about some skills you have you had to do it very quickly which was a little unnerving half an hour or uh, 45 minutes would have been better to read about everything and each modifier and figure it out a little bit more but from the little time I had yeah um, I could already see that this was really a, a good way to specialize your hero and your, your build overall because for example there was one modifier that made all of your attacks um, lightning damage and another modifier for for example for this slam attack which is in this build on slot number two one uh, modifier of this was to uh, make some over stacks which means um, if you hit an enemy you collect stacks for example if you hit the enemy five times and then hit the slam button number two you do uh, it five times more powerful than the regular one yeah and there's a very big variety of how you can use one skill it was very one dimensional in the first titan quest and i gotta say in most other rpgs it was really um, you had one skill you used it you could, could level it up to the max and this was it but here it's different you have to plan out what your build is going to do allocate your stat points accordingly and then figure out um, which is the most destructive way to allocate your skill modifiers. And it is a little unclear to me yet how um, these modifiers are unlocked. I, I mean, it's sh sure you gotta allocate your stat points, but I don't know, how do you see all the possible modifiers? I think you only see the modifiers that are available to you from the stat points you have allocated yeah that's a little bit of a mystery still but overall it was a lot of fun i mean usually you would pick some other skills i think storm mastery has the squall which um, reduces the enemy's resistances usually it would make sense to cast squall and then jump in with the leap slam yeah and then uh, go to town especially with this uh, ice attack yeah um but anyway it was great fun to play it for the first time i mean the Ichians looked creepy as hell it was fun to just slam the crabs and they flew all over the place in my in my gameplay i don't know i, I just wrecked them completely and they flew all over the screen i don't know this this gameplay is a little a little bit lamer than what i pulled off I cleared out the the area immediately, and then um, yeah, there was no more, nowhere else to go. I uncovered all of the map. And this was it for the demo version. Yeah, I, I mean, I wasn't disappointed. I was really excited, and it was awesome. Gotta say, yeah. And now um, for the early access of Titan Quest. Titan Quest is going into early access, which means um, they are going to release a version of the game which is not the 1.0 version, the final version. It's uh, still a small portion of the game and I think there are only going to be a couple of masteries, not all the items. So you know, um, it's going to be a little version of the game. And this one is going to come out in winter 2024 or yeah 25 which means earliest at December this year or at the latest at March okay I mean uh, yeah I'm going to get this early access no matter what <laughs> really looking forward to it and also um, the gameplay that you see here this is a 50 minute video 
of with commentary of the developers and it is packed with information a lot of new information was dropped there and i'm going to analyze it pretty soon uh, so give me a little time and i'm going to release a video about this it's not going to be that long um, i'm really going to condense it to the most relevant topics and the most uh, the newest content yeah guys um tell me what you think i'm interested in your opinion i had a blast in cologne it was just uh, yesterday and that i was there yeah um thank you for watching stay tuned for the next video and see you guys around Titan Sage out.